the current administration, the Bush administration's war on science. And uh, this war on science is based on a fundamentalist belief that the world was created in seven days and um, that a denial of evolution and a religious belief in how the world was created. And anything that contradicts the Bible, whether it's DNA or whether it's, uh, whether it's stem cell research or whatever, they don't want to hear about it. So I'll give you uh, a few examples of some things that they did or tried to do. You know, there's the Hubble Space Telescope which has been discovering the very beginnings of our cosmos. It's brought back the most incredible pictures, which have incredible, intense meaning in our lives. Intense meaning in our lives because they help us show where we are, where we came from, and how the cosmos op operates. This will have direct impact on our technology. But because they w this was going back to the Big Bang and was contradicting Bush's theory of the seven-day creation, they had this telescope which was already up there and which needed the equivalent of an oil change and they didn't want to give it tune-ups and oil changes. They were just going to let it rot in space because they didn't like the science it was giving. And then you know about the stem cell research. And here's how it impacts us directly with marijuana. Well, you know, they, they don't function on science. They function on myths. So they have a whole bunch of myths. They have the myth that, okay, you tell me whether you think this is myth or science. Is it myth or science? Marijuana is harmful. Well, it's myth, right? It's myth, right? Yes, yeah. Okay, you Is it myth? Yes. Okay, and then they say that marijuana has no medical value. Also myth, man. Is that that's what this is? What the Bush administration says is that myth or science? That's a myth. Okay, and then they say that it causes lung cancer. Myth or science? It's been proven that it doesn't. And we can go on and on. Leads to harder drugs, uh, uh, birth impairments, memory loss. What was he? Uh, uh, there are so many things. There are so many things that they lie about because it doesn't agree with their beliefs. And so they'll deny science in order, in, in order to keep those beliefs going. And that is how the Bush administration is directly impacting us. Directly. This war on science. But you know, it's not just the Bush administration. This has been going on for about 20 years. It's been going on really since the Carter administration, where a smaller and smaller percentage of the budget is devoted to non-weapon science. Almost all of the science budget is devoted to weapons and to war. And we have to change that. Yeah. Yeah. Because, yeah. Yep. You know, America became the technology giant because of our because of our science, because of our, because of the way we fostered science and technology. And right now we spend so little on it as a percentage of our of our whole budget, it's pitiable. The corporations used to spend money on science, they don't do it. The government used to, but meanwhile there are other governments that are doing it. And if we want to stay ahead, we have to change this whole thing. And when we talk about science, we're talking about the complete thing, the whole drug issue, as looking at it in a scientific way. How do we ha get harm reduction? Well, I say, I'd rather see a whole bunch of people doing pot than going to the Midwest and see everybody's teeth rotted from crack and amphetamine. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! You, you know, 
<laughs> you know, I was re I was recently in some uh, sort of rural areas, and I couldn't believe the impact that these terrible drugs have had on the rural areas, you know, the rural areas of mid-America. Incredible. Really? It's a whole generation that has been trashed. And there's no stash in that trash. They have no education. They have, they have no education. They have no way of getting an education. They have no no vision of themselves in the future. They don't see themselves as part of a future. They, they see themselves as irrelevant. And this is part of the, the war on science. It all stems from it. And if we want to stay ahead, if we want to stay ahead from a hungry China, and if we want, you know, we're a bankrupt country now. This is an aside, but most people think that the price of oil has gone up. The price of oil hasn't gone up, it's just that the dollar has dropped in half. And if you went to Europe, the price of oil hasn't gone up. It's the same as it always was. It's that the dollar sucks. And that is part of the war on science. War on science. There are weapons of mass destruction in Iraq, right? They had the science that said, you know, Hans Blick and the UN, nobody talks about that, but the UN guy, he was, the inspector, he was there, he said, there are no weapons, we can't find any weapons. He said, give me more time, if there are weapons, I'll find them. But Bush didn't want that, instead, off he went. War! Because it's a war on science, a war on anything that doesn't follow his ideology, his beliefs, rather than follow what actually is. The reality doesn't count in this. This is like a medieval map where this this country is a bad country, so it's far away. But on this map, this is our friend, so it's close together. It's a medieval map of belief and not of science. What we have to do is change this, and this is the mo this really impacts us in every way, including the marijuana issue. It, it's such, so wrong. It impacts us. It impacts our kids. I have kids. You know, friends of mine have grandkids. It impacts everybody. It impacts all of us because just think how many people here function in a technology that didn't exist 15 years ago. Anybody who works with computers, you might as well, you don't have to, but you might as well raise your hands, you know? We're, and if we don't keep up with the technology, if we don't do it, we're not going to be living the kind of lives that we want to be living. And this, we can't do it based on belief. It has to be based on science. And, not sexy, but you think about how it impacts and think about how you can do things to change this, whether it's speaking with the Congress people or bringing this up into your special impact group, whether it's an environmental group, because it's fundamental and it unifies all of the opposition groups. The war on women is a war on science. And the war on science is a war on women. It impacts the environment, it impacts women, it impacts the drug issue, every issue. Thank you. Yeah.